and hello and welcome to Rosie's Kitchen. <laughs> Today I'm going to make Ruby whipped cream pie, whipped cream cheese pie. And my mom's name is Ruby and I have a grandbaby named Ruby. And so show you what you need. And I'm just uh, using Danish dessert, the recipe off the back of this box. And it is so good. So you need um, one of these boxes, uh, two, uh, six ounces of cream cheese, half a cup of sugar. Well, I'll show you how, how, uh, what, what you need for everything. Uh, to make the graham cracker crust, you need 12 crackers. How many is that? Eight for about one and a half cups. 12 graham crackers and just those into a powder. Okay, there's your crumbs. I'll put them into a bowl. And then add six tablespoons of butter melted and one fourth cup of sugar. A okay, one fourth cup of sugar, six tablespoons of melted butter, 12 graham crackers. Mix that together really well and then put it in your pie pan. And that's in a nine inch pie pan and just put it in the freezer until you are ready for it. Cover it with saran wrap. Next, get your Danish dessert and three, one and three fourths cup of water and bring it to a boil. And I, you let it boil for one minute. Now set it over here to cool a bit. And now for the cream cheese filling. Uh, one package of cream cheese, one cup of whipped topping, and a fourth, uh, let's see, a half a cup of sugar. On oh, half a cup of sugar. So take the package of cream cheese and um, sugar and blend it really well. That is creamed really well. Now add a cup of Cool Whip and two tablespoons of the Danish dessert. I put the two tablespoons of the Danish dessert in the freezer for a few minutes, so it's slightly cool. And you just kind of blend, gent gently blend that in. That's it for that. I got my pie crust that was sitting in the freezer all night. I will put the cream mix here, then put the Danish dessert over the top, make sure it's all the way cooled. Then the two tablespoons have uh, cooled off, so I'm just going to add those in there. Put that in the pie pill pie filling and just kind of mix that in like that. Now put it into the pie shell. Get the pie shell. And now the the Danish dessert has cooled off. I'm going to pour that on top and I've got some strawberries. And I'll slice and put them on there. Look how big these strawberries are. Okay, I'll slice them up and put them in there and then decorate some on the outside. They finished. Now I'll just put it in the fridge for a couple hours, about three hours. I'm going to take this to activity days and feed that to the girls. We're learning about cultures and this is Danish dessert. And so that will be very delicious. Oh, that pie looks so good. Can't wait to eat it later on tonight. And thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Remember that I come on every Friday at 2. See you next time, and good night.